Today we are going to test your CDI and in this video I will show you how. Well hello and welcome to my video. Today I am going to show you the CDI. The CDI is the capacitor discharger injection that is inside your scooter. Usually it's inside the body of your scooter on the right side. Some other scooter they have next to the battery. So this one is for a GY 650cc scooter. It's a little square box that is called CDI. Now there is many little boxes that you can see online but this one right here that you see in black this one is the original OEM CDI that comes with the GY650cc scooter and now I will show you a lot different CDI that you can buy for your scooter okay right here we have lots of CDI's that you can buy for your scooter now what you really have to make sure when you buy a CDI for your scooter you want to make sure the research online to make sure that CDI is okay for your scooter now if you have a GY650cc scooter you have one of this this one is the original CDI right here this one is in black now this one they are AC CDI's right here those are the AC now this one that means they're they're getting the power directly from your stator alternator okay so they're being run and being powered by your AC on your scooter right here okay this one is one of them this one is a little colorful this one has a little screw that you can adjust the timing but I don't believe that kind of like you know technology or adjusting the timing on the CDI because it might uh, fire up or misfire in your scooter so at that point you could have a problem with your scooter so I did not test this one yet now I test this one and they work okay they say they're really a performance <laughs> kind of CDI but they're not really you know so they really don't give you too much performance there is few CDI's that they give you not really more performance but really they do not have a rev you know they free your rev so they you can go above 9000 rpm with few performance CDI's but with these ones you're going to be safe because if you forget that you're above 9000 you know with the regular one your motor will stop with the one that is modified to no rev at one point you can burn your engine and you go too high with your motor now those one they're all different CDI that you can buy online let me tell you this one is okay you know it doesn't really have a great performance uh, they say it's really high performance CDI but it doesn't really performance as a high CDI but I've been using this one for about 12 years and I don't have any problem with this one sometimes there is a possibility that this one they give up and because they're made in China and they have uh, kind of like low quality product there is a possibility they break down but even this one or this one or this one can break uh, break down anytime so doesn't matter if you have a blue one or a red one or a purple one the best one to have is the original CDI that will be more reliable you know they don't break so often unfortunately they really don't break so often so it's kind of like we are kind of lucky that this product is working for a long time for this one will work for 15,000 miles or more in your scooter maybe it's going to last more than your scooter this CDI now if you buy one of these ones they're made for your scooter GY 650 cc scooter if you have this one this one is run by DC now this one is for a different scooter like a Kimco scooter this one is made for Kimco now this one is a DC CDI you can recognize this one because uh, they are a lot larger than a regular CDI that uh, this one is AC and the lower one right here is DC now you can test this CDI with the multimeter if you have problems you know 
sometimes you have an okay reading with continuity with the multimeter now right here you have six pins in each of these uh, you have six pins inside of each of these uh, CDIs now you can test them with the multimeter and have a, a reading with the continuity because there is a negative part and there is also a positive part of this one now if you have a test if you do a test with the continuity of these CDIs if you have a cross you know continuity between these ones between the pins uh, that mean that the CDI is not good you know so that's the problem sometimes with this CDI because you know they they get really hot sometimes or they get damaged by themselves they get really hot because there is a short or some kind of problem in your scooter at that point uh, you could uh, melt inside of the CDI or sometimes because you're not running your scooter for many you know many months uh, the CDI might go bad from uh, uh, any kind of uh, condense condensation or something inside that can go bad so even if they're really protected pretty good pretty good this one has a clear protection and you can see all the parts inside now if you like to test this one with a multimeter the CDI you're going to need a multimeter like this one and you can place it on 200 continuity right here if you look right here on the bottom 200 continuity and this one has the sound okay now right here you can see the CDIs the AC and the DC CDI and you're going to see where is all the connections right now if you look right here you have six pins if you're looking at this pin right here on the AC CDI you're going to see that this one right here is the kill switch on the right side right here there is a little pin that is this one is the positive side of the alternating current CDI power that is being powered by the stator alternator on your scooter so this one right here there is four pins on the top if you look right here this one is the AC CDI right here and you're going to see that this one there is uh, a ground right here or sometimes you can find this one black blank you know this one is the ground or blank there is another ground right here on this CDI and right here we have the injection coil and right here there is a wire that is called the trigger the trigger that comes from the stator sensor that is right on the outside of your stator that is a little pickup sensor that will be the trigger right here now this one is for the AC now if you like to test this one it's really easy you get the ground having the multimeter at 200 continuity just by touching it you're gonna hear that the multimeter is gonna sound if that makes a sound what you're going to do you're going to test this one that is the negative part right here so you put one right here and with the other probe you're going to touch the other pins if you get in the sound touching the other pin you have a short on your CDI so by touching these ones you should not have any sound coming out from your multimeter now if you touching the one next to one next to the the one I'm touching right now there will be the one on the right side now I touch it right here on the left side if I touch the one on the right side you should have a sound because it's normal because it's a ground here 
and the ground next to it. Right here is ground, right here is ground. So you should have a sound and that will be perfectly normal. By touching these two, you will have a sound. Now, if you touch this one right here on the top, that is ground, and you touch the other one with the probe, and you have a sound, your CDI is no longer good because there is a short inside your CDI. So at the point, you just have to replace the CDI and get a brand new one. And usually they're not really too expensive, I say between 15 to 25 dollars. Depends what you want to have out of your CDI. But usually having a OEM CDI like this one will be more reliable. So this one, they last a long time. Now, same way, if you like with this one right here, this one is a... CDI that is run by DC. This one is being powered by your battery. So when you turn the key of the scooter, this one will get the power from your battery, okay? So this one will be right here, the direct current right here. So on the bottom, you're going to have the power coming from CDI, this part right here, you're going to have the power for the CDI that comes from the battery. This one, they will be the first uh, pin right here. Now, the other pin uh, will be the ground next to it. Next to the positive side, you have the ground, okay? Now, up here, on this part right here, you have the ground and you have the ground on these two pins. If you look here, you have the ground and you have the ground on the other pin. Now, right here is the injection coil of your spark plug, okay? And on the top is the trigger, right up here. Now, if you look this one, you have the trigger over here and you have the injection coil. Now, these two wires over here are going directly to your spark plug coil. So, these two right here are coming from the CDI. So, if you don't have a spark on your scooter, it could be possible that these two are loose, they're not too tight, and that many, many times happen, this one, they're not too tight. And if they're not too tight, just make sure you tie them. But if you still don't have spark, at that point, make sure that these two on the CDI that is powered on DC, make sure that these ones are nice and tight. Or make sure they're pushed it in, these pins. Because sometimes there is a possibility that they get a little bit loose. Now the same thing on this one, you have these two that they go to your coil of the spark plug okay so this one will be going to your spark plug but if they are not tight and the connection is not really too tight or sometimes sometimes there is corrosion because sometimes you leave the scooter on the outside if these two are not too tight this wire right here this wire right here there is a possibility that you don't have spark or there is a possibility that your cdi doesn't work and at that point uh, you're not even in a spark so this one more or less that you can see here it will show you where all the wires are going and where all the wires are coming from this one is really important so if you're testing your CDI with a multimeter and you place your multimeter at 200 continuity with the sound when you test this CDI what you really need to do you place the ground right here this one is the black probe from the multimeter and you want to test the, the AC the AC CDI you just press right here on the AC that will be the ground 
and you go touching all the other ones this one this one this one this one you should not get any sound or reading on your multimeter now when you're touching with the red probe and you're touching at the same time right here the first pin and you're touching the one on the bottom there will be another ground at that point you will get a sound from your multimeter so so by touching the other ones you should not get any reading but by touching this one you should get in the sound when you're touching the other one now if you go on the DC right here what you can do you place uh, one of the probe of the multimeter right here on the ground and you start to touch all the other pins now if you are getting any reading or any sound on these pins uh, that means your CDI is no good anymore but if you're touching this one that is just next to the ground on the other side right here the other ground you should get it a sound like this so that's okay so that will be normal okay at this point I just like you to remember that you only need a multimeter to make this test with your CDI you need your CDI and remember when you order a CDI for your scooter make sure your CDI is an AC or a DC if you have a GY 650cc scooter, you're going to have an AC CDI. Look, this one is a DC CDI and this one is an AC CDI. You can see from the size that the DC is a lot larger. You know, some, some of the AC CDI that could be larger too, but mainly they are slightly smaller. Now, if you switch the CDI, you could damage in your wire of the scooter, you could damage a CDI. So make sure if you order a CDI for your scooter, make sure you order the right one. At this point, I'd like to thank you very much for watching my video. Feel free to visit my YouTube channel, my TikTok, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.